What's up YouTube? This is Sean and today I'm going to show you how to play Bastille's cover of What Would You Do on Guitar. A really emotional, sad tune, but it's nice. It's a very good song. We got a capo on the third fret today and we're using the chords B minor, G, D, A sus4, and A. All the tabs for these chords are going to be up there during the video and if you need to see how to make them up close I do that at the end after I explain everything else. Maybe you don't know how to make a B minor yet I can show you how to do that if you skip to the end. Come back so you can learn everything else too. The strum pattern is going to be over here that I'm using in this lesson. I kind of took a little bit of what I was hearing in the acoustic version and in the recorded version put it together and made that strum pattern. It's one of the strum patterns I love to play. So you'll be learning how to do that too. The song is very simple. There's just one chord progression throughout. It goes like this. B minor. One, two, three, four. G. One, two, three, four. D. One, two, a sus4, 1, 2, and then A, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. And you just go around in circles until the song's done. At the beginning, you want to just do this one strum per chord thing. Keep it real nice and mellow. And then in the chorus, you're going to use that strum pattern that I have up here. Which goes like this. how that goes. We go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down. We're using a sixteenth note pattern, so that's one and a two and three and a four and a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. fourth measure of this chord progression, the A sus4 A measure, you're going to anticipate the A a little bit. You're going to go 1 and a 2 E and 3 E and a 4 E. So it's not going to come on beat 3 like you would think. It's going to come on the and of beat 2. Right there. circles on that chord progression, kind of using the different strum patterns that we talked about, and there's others, you can make variations on it too. Get the dynamic level that you need to for the different sections. You want to have this push and pull with the volume, with the amount of energy that you're putting into the strum pattern in the song. So now I'm going to zoom in and show you how to make each one of these chords. Okay, so let's start on that B minor chord. B minor is made like this. Take your first finger, place it behind the second fret of the A through high E strings. Third and fourth fingers go on the fourth fret of the D and G strings, and your second finger gets the third fret of the B string. Now these fret numbers are all relative to the capo, so this is 0, this is 1, this is 2. So we're 
really making a B minor shape, not necessarily the chord B minor. It's a good distinction to know. Anyways, G is made like this, first finger, second fret A string, second finger, third fret low E string, third and fourth fingers on the third fret of the B and high E strings, strum all six strings, D is like this, first finger on the second fret of the G string, second finger on the second fret of the high E string, third finger on the third fret of the B string, strum the A through high E strings. A sus4, or A suspended fourth, is like this. I'm going to bar with my first finger across the D, G, and B strings on the second fret, so basically making an A chord, and then taking my third finger and placing it on the third fret of the B string. So this is the note we need. And then we're going to go to that. So this is A sus4, this is A, barring across the second fret of the D, G, and B strings. Strum the A through high E if you can. I usually can't get that, so I don't worry about it. Just strum to the B string. Those are the chords. B minor, G, D, A sus4, and A. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something. If you did, please hit that subscribe button so you can get more guitar lessons every week. I should also have my Facebook and Twitter info in the description. If you do want to keep up with other things I'm up to, hit those links as well. So thanks for watching. I'm Sean, and I'll see you guys next time.